What's up guys? I thought you guys might like to see um, some action. Uh, this is about as exciting as it gets here in the life of an illustrator. Oh, this is uh, just kind of puttering around. There's not actually a whole lot left to do before I um, put a wash of uh, gouache over it all to unify the colors. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm doing before I do that. Um, just kind of... Um, Give me some good, uh, flat, bright colors uh, down um, before I put that wash over so things really pop through, like um, this red here in his face and his hands and uh, his legs, if you can see it down here, are um, a pretty bright red. And so um, I definitely want them subdued, but um, I want the color to come through, obviously. Um, so, hence why they are brighter. Um, and I'm at this point right now where I, I really love uh, this picture uh, that I'm doing right now. It's a, I'm, at a, I'm in the honeymoon stage, I, I call it. Um, really enjoying it. Life is great. Um, a little while ago, uh, yesterday, when I started, uh, when I transferred the drawing um, onto this uh, this big illustration board, um, and then I put down flat uh, watercolors, uh, I was freaking out. Um, so, uh, uh, man, it was so like heart wrenching. I just did not know um, if if it would look good, if I was wasting my time. That's really, I think, the scary part uh, for me um, is not necessarily if it's gonna work, um, but more is it, is it is it gonna waste my time and when I get to the finished product, product am I um, gonna be happy with it? Um, and so, especially, uh, I think this time because of the size, just sharpening my pencil here, um, the size uh, of this picture is uh, 16 by 20. Um, uh, at least the size of this illustration board, I'll probably crop, crop it in a little bit, but um, it's, a, it's definitely a bigger board than what I used uh, for Frodo, um, the last traditional piece I did. And um, man, it's so big, and I, I, the reason I, I well, the reason why I went bigger was because I had these frames lying around, and um, I just wanted to fill the frame. <laughs> There's no real, real reason besides that. It's a very practical reason uh, to do this bigger, and also I want, I want to make bigger artwork. I think one of the things that uh, illustrators, um, the best things that they can play with is size uh, in their in their work, uh, you know, we're not movie makers. We can't add music to the to the program here. Uh, I suppose we could, but when it, when when someone's looking at a piece of artwork, um, there's there's a few things that we can change to make it more dramatic, um, other than size. Um, so I would love to make it as dramatic as engaging as exciting as possible therefore I want to make it bigger and um, I have I haven't been to um, a Lexicon or Spectrum Fantastic Live or, or anything like that um, but I have seen big artwork and I can only imagine um, what some of this fantasy art looks like when it's got just you know original art like a uh, right in front of you. You can see all the um, all the texture, all the choices that um, the artists and the illustrator made. 
uh, when he when he made the piece, um, and that is just uh, that's just really awesome. Um, a lot of great, a lot of great illustrators doing traditional work uh, nowadays and selling it and uh, good source of income. And also, it's just a great way to, to work. I, I uh, obviously, if you've seen my stuff before, I don't. Uh, it's not my typical um, um, mode to work in traditional, um, but I. I love it when I can, and uh, for personal projects, I definitely can. Um, just have to make myself do it, make myself go slower and enjoy it, and engage and with the piece, and uh, love it. Take my time, and um, this this is a great way to work. Um, people get hung up on oh. Whether or not, oh, I should do digital or, or uh, traditional. I think there's very good reasons to do both and, um, and uh, just do what you want. <laughs> do what you want. Life's too short to work in a way that you think everyone else wants you to. Just decide to, to make it work one way or another. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna make it work um, doing traditional, you can make it work doing uh, digital. I mean, um, it's definitely possible. Uh, the thing I don't like about certain digital uh, productions or illustrations, uh, especially on book covers. I've seen some book covers. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna shout out any names. I don't probably know their names um, <laughs> um, on some of these books but you can tell some some of the books are, are the covers are definitely digital um, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that but I think the level of quality um, is is lessened uh, in so, in some digital book covers um, there's like, yeah, it's just like these random artifacts and like, you know, uh, it's not even like nice sketchy. It's just like trying to look painterly, but it, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not real paint. You know, there's no buildup. There's no edge, uh, to the, to the paint. It's just, um, it just is. Of digital digital artifacts which is to me not something that I, I like to see when I look at art I love to see um, artifacts in original artwork uh, you know it's still someone's hand I guess it's still someone's hand making the mistake or, or, or the um, or the stroke or, or whatever but uh, I just like to see the connection um, between between straight from the artist's hand to to the, the picture. Um, of course, people who who don't buy the originals, people who don't see the originals. Um, just get the printed work, which is is the is the finished work in the in their opinion. So you know, it's whatever it's whatever you want. <laughs> and do it either way. No, it's a no judgment zone. Um, um, this uh, board is illustration board, and I got it. Like I said, I got it uh, in a bigger size. Um, because that's the size it came in, and uh, I wanted to fill that big frame. Um, so 
I didn't gesso it or anything. It's a, I'm using a wash, a water medium. Um, so, so I didn't, I didn't uh, gesso it though. I guess I could have. Um, but the grain on this is so huge uh, compared to what I did last time. It's just it just eats up my pencils. Uh, it's crazy how big how big the grain is here, and um, and it gives it a fe an effect, uh, which I'm starting to really really love. Um, this sort of very storybook um, textured feel, and um, I'm really starting to love it. I, I do want to get a little more subtle with it, uh, which so when I when I um, do a wash over it, um, it will um, color the paper. Uh, so right now the paper is lighter in some places right here. The paper is lighter than the um, color pencil on top. So the color pencil is just getting all the all the uh, ridges there, um, and the paper is lighter underneath. Right here, the 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 white of his beard is is brighter than the paper. Um, so if I just um, wash over the, the whole thing, it'll it'll bring um, the paper, and it'll also bring the white down a little bit more. And um, I can bring out what I want to in white, and I can darken uh, um, what I want to darken, obviously, the darker pencil. Um, but it just gives it a lot more saturation, a lot more color. Um, not like bright, but but more a richness. So I'm really excited to do that, um, and I will do that next. I'm I don't know if you guys really saw anything. I mean, I I like noodled around on this thing, but I don't know. You know, I don't. Know. I'm just talking, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. But um, I'm gonna do the wash next. I don't know if I can video that, um, but I will try. So see ya.